Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, we will discuss a problem that uh, appeared in the lead code daily challenge. So if you are doing the July challenge, then you would have come across this problem today. So match sticks to square. So basically, we will be given a array which represents uh, different match sticks. So match sticks of i is the length of the ith match stick. <coughs> Excuse me, and we want to use all the match sticks to form one square. So we want to form one square, and we should not break any match stick. And each match match stick must be used exactly once. So we will be given different set of match sticks, and we want to form a square with all these match sticks. I mean, we have to return true or false whether we can form. A square or not. So, when you read the problem statement, it will look very vague. You will not understand how to go about it. So, what we can do is we can look at the constraint itself. So now, if the constraint we see, we are saying that number of match sticks is going to be at most fifteen. So this is a small value. So now we can, you know, think. Okay, it's maybe some brute force only will work, or maybe something like subsets, or a recursion, right? Something like this may work because this is small number. So actually, if you don't know how to go about it, most of the time you can see the constraints and try to identify which technique can be used. Otherwise, what you would do? mostly people would think this is like a greedy problem like uh, maybe some sorting is involved at least initially i also thought that only so let us now forget this like forget this part actually for now let us understand some basic things so let us take an example let us say the match sticks we are given is 3 Two, one, three, three. <coughs> we have to form a square. I mean, we have to tell if we can form a square or not. First of all, let us visit some basics of geometry. So, what exactly is a square? Square is a shape in which all the sides are equal. So, it has four sides, and all the sides are equal, right? And the perimeter of the square is four times each side. So this is perimeter. Now, now comes the interesting part. Actually, see, one way to tell directly is whether we can form a square or not. First of all, understand what is going to be perimeter of the square. Whatever square we form, because we need to use all the match sticks. We need to use all the match sticks. So perimeter of the square is going to be sum of lengths of all the match sticks. So essentially, perimeter we already know now. What is perimeter? It is going to be sum of uh, lengths of all match sticks. So all the match sticks sum, if we take, that is going to be perimeter. So let us do that in this example. So what is the perimeter going to be now? Three plus two plus one plus three plus three, which is twelve. Uh, so this is so perimeter is twelve. So twelve is divisible by four. As I told you, four into length of the square is equal to perimeter. So length of the square should be what? Perimeter by four, so perimeter should be exactly divisible by four. So this itself is the first condition, whether the perimeter is divisible by four or not. This is the first condition. So over here, yes, perimeter is twelve. It is divisible by four. Yes, it can be a square. Not hundred percent confirmed, but it can be a square. If suppose over here only this was two, so perimeter would be thirteen. so there is no way possible because perimeter itself is 13 we can't make a square so this is first condition i hope you have understood this 
so first thing is just check the perimeter and perimeter is nothing but sum of all the matchsticks length because we have to use all the matchsticks to form the square so irrespective of side of the square perimeter is going to be fixed only okay so that was one thing now so as i told you a square can have what it can have four sides it can have four sides okay and now what is the side length going to be we found perimeter as 12 so side length should be what 12 by 4 3 so actually the side length should be 3 okay side length should be 3 only so now we need to check whether we can make each side of the square so each side we want to make each side of the square have a length equal to 3 so that becomes our objective how we got 3 we got the perimeter right we got perimeter and what should be side of square so it should be perimeter by 4 so in this case that is 3 so we need to check whether we can make each side equal to 3 or not so how can we do that so if I consider the first match stick, if I consider the first match stick, how many places can I put it on the square? So there are four sides on the square, right? There are four sides on the square. So how many places I can put it? I have four options. So I need to place it on each side and, and we need to check out each combination. That is like for example if this is the input okay then i say that this three goes to the first side this two goes to the second side and uh, one goes to the third side for example three goes to the fourth side like that which side it should go so over here how many sides are there in a square four so each each matchstick can be placed in four possible locations either on the first side so first side second side third side or fourth side only so let me write first here so first side second side third side or fourth side only right so four possibilities are there only four possibilities right and how many combinations can we make actually so that can be like 4 power n n is number of math sticks so we are looking at a complexity of actually 4 power n but to optimize uh, you know this process we, we we have to think of a way so how can we think of a way to optimize so what we can do is so let us say instead of 3 we will take 1 okay let us say or okay let us take 3 only so we will take 3 so uh, now we are going to take 3 okay and let us say we place that matchstick over here so we have placed the matchstick so after placing the matchstick over here what we will check we will go to the next matchstick <coughs> okay we will go to the next matchstick so next matchstick is having length 2 can we place 2 also here on the same length already 3 is placed can I place 2 no because my maximum side length is 3 so my maximum side length being 3 I can't place a matchstick with length 2 and 3 because 2 plus 3 will become 5 and 5 is greater than the side length so I can't place 2 over here so here it is not possible to place 2 so what I will do I will take this matchstick and I will check now next side so I will take it on the next side and I will try to place it here can I place 2 here? Yes, already nothing is placed. So I can place 2 here. So let me place the matchstick of length 2 here. Now go to next matchstick. Next matchstick check. Can I place it here? On this side length can I place it? So already there is a matchstick of side length 2. And one more matchstick of length 1. Can I place it? So what is 2 plus 1? 3. 3 is it less than or equal to 3? Yes. And what is this 3? This 3 is nothing but the actual side length of the square. So I can place, so I can place one more matchstick of side length 1 here. 
I can place this. Now go to 3. So can I place 3 on this side? No, I can't. Already this side is full. I can't place that matchstick. So go to the next side. Can I place it here? Yes, I can place it here. All nothing is placed. Here already nothing is there. So fine, I'll place it here. So this matchstick is done. Then go to this one. So check here again. Can I do it here? No, I cannot do it. I cannot do it here. So go to the next side. Yes, I can. So like this, we can place all the matchsticks. But now suppose, uh, so we understood that we have to check each and every possible side. So now this is actually like recursion only, right? So once we check for this side, we go to the next side, go to the next side. And when will we stop? When we have checked all the four sides, if all the four sides are checked and we did not get any answer, then uh, we stop and say that no, that combination is not possible. So one thing to notice over here is see, after placing matchstick of length 2 and 1, okay, after placing matchstick of uh, 2 and 1, if suppose the length over here was uh, say something like 4, instead of 3 it was 4, Okay, so we try to place 4 here, we can't because maximum length is 3, side length of the square is 3 and here also we can't place 4. So then what we should do, we need to backtrack, we need to backtrack here. So we need to remove this one and now check can we place 4, now also we can't place 4. So again we have to backtrack, remove 2, now can we place matchstick of length 4, now also we can't. So backtrack to the original matchstick here that was having length 3 remove this and check can we place it no that also cannot be done so nothing can be done so when nothing can be done return false so essentially this is the idea of the problem this is actually a backtracking problem wherein if for a one combination we don't get the answer we backtrack and what does it mean backtrack so whatever recently added matchstick we have so for example here First we added matchstick with length 2, then with length 1, then we were checking for length 4, assume this was a matchstick of length 4. So whatever is the recently added matchstick, we decrease that from the side of the square, we decrease it from the length and check if we can add that again or not. So this is the backtracking part. You can also solve it using bit mask and basically you will have uh, combinations so you'll have 4 power n combination actually okay <coughs> and here we can optimize also here we can optimize also okay here we can optimize so suppose imagine that we found that the length of the square is 3 okay but we have a matchstick of side length 4 sorry we have a matchstick of length 4 and we also and we know that the length of the square is 3 so can we make any square now no because we have a matchstick of length 4 this cannot be broken we can't break the matchstick so we can't place this matchstick anywhere so that's also one way to optimize so i'll show you the code now and then you will understand how we can write so first of all calculate the perimeter okay calculate perimeter of the square that is going to be sum of all the values of the matchstick lengths if the perimeter is not divisible by 4 return false because 4 into length of the side is equal to perimeter so then what we can do is uh, we have uh, we are going to take sides as uh, the number of sides are going to be 4 and we are going to assume that each side length is 0 okay we will assume each side length is 0 and actual side length is what perimeter by 4 so actual side length of the square is perimeter by 4 and over here we are doing an optimization we will sort all the matchsticks in descending order to improve our performance 
because if we get a value that is higher than the side length directly we can return false we can directly return false if we get a value greater than side length so this is an optimization actually and if we remove this it will not run on lead code if you remove the sorting it will not run on lead code actually i don't know why but it's not running on lead code okay it is giving tle for some values then we'll write a backtrack function where we'll send our sides we have four sides and match sticks and index of which match stick we are looking at and the side length so this is the backtrack function first of all if index has reached the end of match sticks array then we'll return true because uh, we have found a combination if it has passed through all the match sticks and we can place all the match sticks to form a square then it is true only otherwise for each side length so this loop is running from 0 to 3 so for all the four sides okay so if the side if the current side plus match stick length is less than or equal to the actual side length actual side length so in this case uh, over here if you see 3 is the match stick length and initially side is having a zero length and the side length is 3 so that's what we are doing here we are checking so 0 plus 3 is it less than or equal to 3 yes so we'll add 3 to our current side which means what we are placing the match stick on that particular side of the square after that we'll backtrack we'll sorry not backtrack we will check for the uh, other match sticks so increase the index of the match stick uh, in the array increase the index by one and if this combination is true <coughs> if this combination is true directly return true don't have to check on any other thing because this backtracking will result in a particular combination of match sticks to form a square like for example here what is the combination going to be over here it is nothing but 3 2 1 3 and 3 correct so this is the combination of match sticks so as soon as we get this combination return true if we don't get this combination that means we have to now backtrack we have to decrease the currently added match stick uh, the length of that and we have to find another combination so now we have to find another combination so if all the four sides are checked and we don't get a combination we return false so basically this is how we solve the problem and if you can see it is accepted and see if this sorting was not there right suppose this sorting was not there then let's see what happens so we'll get tle actually so we are getting TLE and now if I run so as you can see now it is submitted so this is how you optimize this problem more and I have written some comments here like whatever my thought process was I make comments so I would suggest you also to write comments like this in your own answer so that when you revisit the problem it's easier for you you will find the solution in the description that's all for this video i hope you are able to understand the problem the logic and you can code it by yourself it is a backtracking problem and that's all i'll see you in the next video until then take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye